Welcome to a new backtesting video. This is Smart Money Concepts Part 2. It's been some time since I last made a backtesting video. Life has happened, got busy, had other things to do, but back now with Session 2, Part 2, and we'll be looking at the one hour time frame mostly, sometimes the four hour as well, just to get us started. We were looking at five and 15 minute order blocks, we'll look at previous highs and lows, and for this session, we'll be looking at the session openings as well. Not necessarily the session openings, but we will be looking at the sessions as well. I'm not going to put a cap on the the, the months that we'll backtest. We'll just look how far we get for the next 15 to 20 minutes and see what we can expect, what we can find in the next 15 to 20 minutes. And also then you have an idea of how long this video will be. So watch till the end. I'm sure you'll get a lot of insights and a lot of valuable valuable nuggets from this session and i do hope that this will be beneficial to you as well so before we get into it let's have that intro all right guys we are here on the four hour just looking quickly at what is happening so as you can see i have these lines they just show us um, the new days in New York and that's just important for me to know when is the new day in New York and I'm just going to go back to my time frame and we'll just be working on my time frame which is uh, UTC plus 2 or GMT plus 2 and we'll be looking at where is price currently where is price potentially heading and we'll be trying to utilize a few smart money concepts and see if we can successfully trade um trade it on gu we'll be looking at the days and then also the sessions um, and that's very important for us to know so first of all we can see that we've approached this zone over here this order block we broke structure towards the downside we have some equal highs in here as well so i could potentially expect price to make a move from from here make a move towards the downside we might go a bit higher because we have some highs there as well might go a bit higher, react, and then start pushing towards the downside. So that's more or less the idea just from a four hour point of view. You guys just remember backtesting is a lot different than real life trading. There's always some discrepancies or some stuff that is different. So just keep that in mind. So on the one hour, this is now the more important one. So we have potentially, we have this as an order block. We'll just change the color in here. We have this as an order block. We had a small breaking structure over here. So let's see if price comes back into this area and then gives us a drop towards the downside. Now it's also worthy to note that we want to take trades like just after Asian session up until like 12 o'clock. That's where we want to stop taking trades. So we can just place a line there. We want to get it, we want to get our entry in London session, preferably. So we will have that's just for this session. How are we gonna do ah? So as I said, we would want to see around the session openings, not necessarily the session openings, but within the session. So all that we have over here, let me just show you. This is the, like the time zone that I want to be focused on. It's between six Asian session close and then um, 12 midday <clears throat> for me. That's more or less the lunch hour as well for the European people. So we want to see price head up into this area and then from there on out, look for price to move towards the downside. And potentially targets will be targeting this low that is the previous day lows we'll always be targeting uh, long-term previous daily highs and lows so that's then where we would want to reach for we've been reaching on a high time from into an area so we could expect other price to go a bit deeper into the zone or we can just maybe sweep this high because gl loves to sweep highs and then move down lower so that's something we need to take into consideration that's something you can make a note of now. GU likes to sweep previous highs and lows. So let's play it along and see what happens. So there, the agent session ended. So we can see price start moving up. For this, we'll go to the 15 minutes. And we'll just refine this a bit closer. We'll just keep that high in mind as well and take the low of this wick as well and keep that high. In. So we would definitely want our stop loss above the high as well. Price starting to move up. Let's see, it gives a nice shot. Now we're in, in this zone already. So potentially uh, on the 
okay we can't go to the five minutes we will have to stay on the 15 minutes because we're so far so far back so we'll probably just take a conservative aggressive entries most probably so i'm just going to get us back there just a moment okay we're back so ideally we would want to drop to the lower time frames and see the reaction around this area but for now what we'll do is because we can't go down lower than the 15 minutes and we already did all the trouble to get to this place i'm going to go more forward in time to just to drop to the five minute what we'll do is we'll potentially look for candle rejection candle formation and then just take trades off of that so let's see what happened so price started pushing up there we had a sweep so now you could potentially think that price is potentially going to move up higher but let's see just the candle okay there we have price moving down so on the lower time frames you have to understand this now on the one minute this is your most recent low so this is a one minute break of structure and a pullback so technically there is an order block in this area so we could place an entry around this area a limit just above it let's do five pips and then i'll take profit down below so I'll do a video, separate video on this in a, at a different stage, but I hope you understand this, but because this is the 50 minute. So what happened is price started pushing down. We broke the, this low, which is the one minute most recent low, because this is the 50 minute. That would be the one minute low. We broke it. And then we can see, see we already started pushing back up on the one minute, potentially in this, which creates the wick on the 15 minute, which we then retest something in here. For us to, to then take a short and to take it lower so potentially something in this area can make a market execution but we just put it there for the next candle this would typically be the entry five pips above um something like that so let's see what happened exactly you see how price came into that order block that i marked now this takes exercise but that would have been a one minute area over there <clears throat> and tagged us into the trade and we're now into the into the trade so we need some um some uh insights that we'll be using but that's then how we'll be looking at it and we'll be targeting as i said we'll be targeting the previous day low so that is where our target will be so we can see that this trade has a potential of 20 risk to reward 20r so if we risk one percent we could potentially stand to make 20 percent so we're just going to play it along a bit and see what happens. This was not cherry picked, I promise you. This was just randomly selected. And let's see, do we get to the previous day slow? Yes, there we have it. So just a note that it's, it's, it's always in generally a good idea to look for the previous daily lows as liquidity areas and previous daily highs as liquidity areas. So what can we learn from this? Let's just quickly recap. We broke major structure over there with a relatively strong push that gave us the confluence or the confidence that price is potentially ready for a pullback. The last area of, let's call it demand or order block, whatever you want to call it, was over there. Well, on the 15 minute, it was potentially something in here, but it kind of looks like we played around in a too long so it wasn't a strong area we didn't get an impulsive reaction up we kind of accumulated in this area then we started pushing up we swept the previous high and then on the one minute we would have gotten the confirmation for the trade towards the downside giving us this 20 years to reward trade so we can just delete some of this to just clear up the drawing and we'll put a note here and get note and just say 20R. So now what's nice about this is this gives us some room to breathe. So if we take some losses, we know that we did have a win of 20R. So that win of 20R would be nice taking us, giving us that a little bit, little bit of a cushion for if we take some losses as well. So we can just put this up here. It's our 20R trade. So we're going back to the one hour potentially we now still need to wait now for the next day we're not going to take anything else now we will be waiting for the next day for the next london london session so price can do whatever it wants to do now we're approaching the new london session so now we have here the new day so now i mark out where is my liquidity areas 
we're looking at order blocks, previous highs and lows, and so on. So now the previous daily low is this low. That's now the previous daily low. We're still kind of bearish because we're reacting off of this area. So kind of expecting price to make a move down. Still, we have an order previous high over there. That could be, that can be swept. And then we have this order block over there. So right off the bat, this is what I'm expecting, looking for price to do. Um, there's no doubt about that. So on the 15 minutes, you can see now, we'll potentially look around <clears throat> Frankfurt open starts over here. So from Frankfurt open onwards, we'll be looking for price to reach that area potentially. So let's see. That is our high probability area. If price doesn't reach that area, then there's no trade for me. So you see price just falls over in Frankfurt open, just pushes down. Potentially we could get a... So what could happen now is that this could be the Frankfurt manipulation clearing out previous daily lows. So we could be looking for a trade back up towards the upside. So that is something we could consider. So we'll just take 50% off this order block as a retracement and have our stop loss still our stop loss still below the low and still just target then this order block that would typically be a scenario or something that i would look at so okay so we didn't get tagged in but price does go up okay so this would have been a mistrade because if price started breaking structure you see price broke all of this structure then technically this area is not valid anymore and then we're still in the bearish streak sequence so let's see what did happen so that would have been a missed trade so i'm not, I'm gonna, not going to show it but we had this order block over there which also left behind some imbalance which is a clean point and this previous high so price came back up tagged this area and then started breaking down we had a structure break over there followed by price coming back to tap this indecisional candle over there and started moving down where would your targets have been well the target for me would have been this low so this would have been a tradable setup you could place your stop loss above that high just to make sure and then targeting these these lows which would have resulted in a zero drawdown clean trade towards the downside okay but that's not we're not counting that trade we're just going to be reviewing as we go along just so that we make sure that we understand where we miss, what we miss, and why we missed it. Um, so the main thing is that we missed an entry in here to take it to the, to the upside, and then we fail to recognize the shift in the market structure. Where did it react off of? So we need to ask ourselves, where is price reacting off of, and what is the behavior of it? So we're reacting off of this zone to the left. We see the reaction. We don't need to know exactly why it reacted off of that area. We just see that it did react off of the center. Then we see price start pushing down, breaking structure. So the momentum has shifted towards the downside. Now we can anticipate the price is potentially not going up anymore. But you could say that price will react off of this order block. Well, potentially yes, but look at the aggressive reaction off of the bearish order block. So the order flow is still bearish and not bullish. So something to keep in mind and something to study and add add to your notes so we'll just take so today for this particular day there's no trade we'll then potentially be looking at the day so i'm not going to be trading new york session we'll just be trading london session and so on so let's jump ahead we don't care about any of this this is not where we're interested in so now this is our new daily low and this is the new daily high because we can see that is the day they created we still have this order block, which is unmitigated, untapped. So a good scenario is the price could be reaching for the liquidity above this high into this order block, above the previous day high. So let's keep that in mind. On the one hour, it's not as clear. You can, if you recall the first day, when we started the backtesting this first day, everything was very clear. But now, already it's not it's not as clear so we can maybe drop to the 30 minutes and see even the 30 minutes so what i would expect from this day is potentially just a quick retracement and then a continuation up up higher 15 minutes 
so potentially if we have this is our premium and discount so perhaps move down into the lower zone over here and then a buy from there so let's see what happens in from frankfurt frankfurt open and onward so let's have a look still pushing up nothing much okay, here's frankfurt open now so this is the for now that's the most recent high created I broke some minor structure it's playing around so we're in this area now potentially there could be a trade but now it's a bit difficult again because we can't go to the five minutes so uh, let's look for one more candle we might miss this trade now that's not a difficult thing so let's do half risk let's do 0.5 and we have our stop loss below these lows over there and we'll be targeting these highs over there so that is the potential now 0.5 risk so let's let's do that <laughs> okay so we lost this trade now and we're gunning for these lows so we can just make a note here <clears throat> say 0 0.5 to minus 0 0.5 so it's not a big deal remember <clears throat> we have a lot to play with we have 20 r already banked so this is not going to worry us there okay now it's looking better for long pullback and then it should be going up now let's see yep there it goes up so what did we do wrong what did we miss so we fail to see that we still have liquidity below the previous day low that has not been tested yet. So we always move from previous days high and low to the next previous day for the new high and low of the day. So we swept the liquidity below this low, which was very important. And then we start pushing up. We broke structure. So technically we could have gotten in an entry in this area. But again, the aim of this exercise is to backtest have a get a broad overview and then review the trades that we could have taken so still there was some entries in this area because we had a lot of structure breaks and we can see price came back down to lower time frame water block so definitely there would have been some entries in this case so where would we have taken profit well we would definitely take profit at this high and then there's also that high there as well those are the areas that i would be interested in come on sorry let me just get back as I was saying, these areas above are potentially the areas where we would want to see price return to. But we also have this order block over there. And we did break structure towards the downside. So we need to look at it objectively as well. Seeing the structure break, seeing the one hour order block. So this is a high time, uh, an order block on the 50 minute, potentially on the 5 minute as well. So this area could act as a selling area as well. So that's just something we need to keep in mind as well. So if we see price slowing down in this area, you're going to expect price to just continue up because technically if we just look we are bearish we're moving towards the downside so just keep that in mind as well so let's have a quick look we start pushing up still looking good then we get a lot of rejection a lot of rejection let's see maybe we still push up price is slowing down slowing down so if we get a break a structure break now if we get a close below these lows then i'm definitely switching to bearish and we can maybe take a new york trade let's see definitely that is a bearish move towards the downside so what happened on the five minute two minute three minutes one minute we broke structure we start pulling back so somewhere in here is potentially a order block and we could potentially take a short i'm not going to be worried about super small stop losses i'm just going to be safe for this exercise we'll just keep our stop loss above that high and we'll be targeting the new previous lows over there so that's what we'll be looking at let's see if okay so we are tagged into the trade now still in still in you see price starting to move down so we did tap into this area maybe it's a bit ambiguous to look for a this low but i would say we are break even now I do think that we would be break even. Um, so I'm just going to move this line over there. 
Let's see if it's a break even trade or a winning trade. Slowing down. This is horrible price action to be a part of, but definitely I do think we would have taken profits by now. And there's the new day. So let's bank this trade at, even if we close over there, it's still 3R. So let's bank this trade. So we at least get some, get some profits. So this is a 3R trade. Let's just quick have a look at the one hour again, just to make sure that we are aware of our surroundings, what's happening, where are we heading to, what's the current situation. And that will give us some more confirmation and confluence um, to just carry on for the new day. Okay, so it's the new day. Let's see what can we see now. So I do think we're still bearish. Um, let's have a quick, I don't want to go to the one hour because I'm afraid that it's going to jump to what happened. So let's have a look. There's the most recent liquidity. That area is important. Uh, we have all this trend line liquidity, all this trend line liquidity over there. And we have this structure break. So let's see if we can get a pull back into this area or maybe even just a scan. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, we reached target and we didn't get any pullbacks. <laughs> And price just left without us. So there's no entry for this day. So let's go back to the one hour. So currently, we've been trading one, two, three days. We had one loss, a small loss, which was a bit uh, aggressive loss. And then we had a win of 3R and another win of 20R. That was the biggest trade. So if we had left this trade open, we would have been sitting at 48R. So Trading with the trend is very important. So we went now below the previous daily lows. Um, let's see what happens. Starting to push back up. I think this day would be a no trading day. Let's see. Here we are at the new day. So now we can still mark out there's the most recent low. Previous daily low. Let's take away these lines. Just make it a bit cleaner and clearer and that would be the previous daily high so we know that we have liquidity above and below those areas and we can mark out our most recent liquidity one hour order block we broke structure so and this could be a situation that we scenario that we look at for price to go up into that area and then move towards the downside so let's have a look on the 15 minute So we immediately go sweep the lows or tap the lows. Let's see the reaction. We move up. Now I wouldn't be looking at this order rock primarily because we went below this. It's a small bit, but there was a small sweep of these lows. I would be looking for longs rather now. After we swept below these lows, this accumulation, swept down, pushed back up, I'll be looking for price to make a pullback and then go higher. So that's how I would view it now, but no entry in price, just no entry on the 15 minutes. Maybe on the five minute we would have gotten something, but I think price reaches target. So then there's no trade today. And then it's the new, it's the new, it's new obsession and so on. So, so, but we, we got the general idea of it. Correct. We can just maybe remove some of these these lines so let's have a look wait for the new day nice accumulation here we have the new day so now we need to mark out so this is the new high this is the new low we broke structure over here on the one hour after we had a small sweep of this low so we'll still be looking for bullishness so potentially for price to make a pullback and then continue up higher. We have some imbalance there as well, but we're not overly focused on that right now. So we have this order block over here, which is quite important, I do think. So let's see if we can get a push down and then a push up again. Uh, no. Okay, there's the push down coming. Okay, so I tapped that area perfectly and then shot up. So 
this is now subjective. This is now where backtesting is a bit difficult. Live trading, would you have taken this week towards the downside at New York Open? Maybe, maybe not. But then the general idea is for price to reach from this low, go all the way up to that high. That would be the target for the liquidity above this high. So let's just see if price did manage to go all the way up or maybe it came down again. Slowly trending up, making its way up. And then ultimately, come, come, tapped it. Perfect. But this is a horrible price action. You wouldn't, wouldn't want to stay in this price action. So, yes. Guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the video over here. I think you did get some insights into how I backtest and how we, sh we can trade with these concepts and how we can apply them to our daily trading. Um, I do hope that it did, did make, does make sense to you and that you guys found it of value. Um, yes, I don't want to make these videos too long. I want to make them s short and um, really nice and so that you can digest it, digestible, that's the word. Um, so yeah, that's it for part two. We'll definitely do a part three in the new year. That is part two, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yes, have a great day. Bye.